We're going to take a look at a magic trick today and explore the science behind the trick. As a kid, I remember watching on TV and also at uh, some magic shows I went to, a, a magician do a trick called the needle in the balloon. And I was always amazed by it. I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going to take a little time to look at that, demo, or that trick, and then we'll take a look at it in terms of the chemistry involved. I have a balloon here, and I have a needle. You can get these in various locations. They're 15 or $20 in a magic store. Um, and you can buy them in lots of other locations as well. Science supply companies sell them now as, as well. So I'm going to blow up my balloon. And one of the things, I talked to a magician about this, and one of the things the magician told me was, don't blow up the balloon too much. Blow it up gently. The other thing the magician told me was, tricks always look better when you fail first. As long as the trick doesn't involve killing yourself or something along those lines, it, it's always a good idea to have it fail. So I'll take a look at failure first. I'll take this needle and I want to put it through the balloon. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, let me try again. Maybe I didn't do the right thing. So. I know what I failed to do. Little magician spit sometimes helps. So let's try it now. Hmm. Looking kind of scary. Try spitting some more. Whoa! That's pretty amazing. Look at that. Needle through the balloon. You can leave that on there. It's a shishka balloon. <laughs> now I should be able to pull it back out. And the balloon remains somewhat inflated. Now that was pretty amazing. It's like an amazing magic trick. Wow, is that cool. But why does it work? Well, the balloon is made out of latex. Latex is a polymer. It's a bunch of long chain molecules. And if you noticed, when I did it the first time and it didn't work, I pushed it through that side, the side where the polymers were stretched. The second time I went through the ends, that's where the polymers are soft. If you stretch those polymers out, and they're pulled, and they're really tight, and you try to stick a needle through them, they rip apart. If they're still clumped together and not pulled out tight, then you can kind of wiggle that needle through. They gave me some soap to do this. I like to spit on it because I think it looks more impressive. Soap actually works a little better, or if you want to cheat a little bit beforehand, stick the needle in the soap ahead of time and get it with a little lubrication on the end, and then your spit will definitely work better. The other thing I like to talk about is, okay, that stretching part, my students sometimes don't get that idea, and I, I actually have spent a fair amount of time developing the other part of the demonstration here, the other part of the explanation or analogy. I point out to my students, you can see the same thing with me. If you poke me here, I really hardly feel it at all. It's a soft spot, and I don't notice it. You can push in, and it's, you know, it's just not there. If you poke me here, <laughs> I can feel it more. I'm stretched out a little bit more on the side. The balloon is the same way. If I poke it on the side where the polymer is stretched out and I try to get the needle to go through, the balloon responds. <laughs> or blows up, whichever one you want to say. If you poke it on the soft side, it really doesn't notice it quite as much. That's the needle in the balloon. Thank you.